and welcome to episode 43 of the H-Bomb and J-Rock unboxing show. Uh, I'm Henry H-Bomb Higgins. And I'm Josh J-Rock Higgins. And we have been gone for a number of weeks. Uh, has been pushing a month since our last video. Uh, there's been a few personal issues between then and now. But those are past us. So we're back. And we're back with a vengeance. And what are we back with? We are back with the Z-Box, which is our go-to feature on the channel. This is the 11th Z-Box, and the theme this time is Battle. So, let's get the box over and see what we have inside. Now, this Z-Box has actually been sitting here for about three, three weeks now. But, there we go. J-Rock, you're up. As I say, the theme is battle, so what do we have? Of course, yeah. bubble wrap. Big bubble wrap. Okay, the so first thing in here, we've got a Thor and Hulk wallet. Oh. Oh, it's a Thor Ragnarok wallet. It is, isn't it? Let's have a look at that. Oh, it feels nice. A bit of softness about it there. And as you can see there, it's just obviously a standard wallet, Marvel, but it's beautiful design. Hulk, champion of Sakaar there, and Thor as guardian warrior. Yep, yeah, Thor, Hulk. That will be put to good use, yes? Yes. Yeah. What's next then? Next we've we got another coin. Yeah, they seem to be going through the coins. And it is a... Galactica coin. Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar. Uh, looks like it's... Oh, it's the original Cylon on there, so it's possibly the old school Battlestar Galactica. Individually numbered, embossed on both sides, silver edition. Uh, we've had numerous coins in the last number of collections, so obviously we will add that to them. We'll show that better because obviously the way the light shines on them and things uh we'll have some pictures at the end yeah yes and i'll highlight that better anything else popping about in there next we have a pop which is pop. popping <laughs> about <laughs> oh that was puns puns people puns widowmaker from overwatch okay i'm not really a big fan of overwatch and i'm not really a big fan of pops so this i imagine will be going home yes. with you yeah uh, on the back there, uh, you can see a list of the other pops that are available in the thing. It's obviously characters from the Overwatch series. Uh, but yeah, you'll you'll appreciate that, yeah. Tell you what we can do, maybe take that, Josh. Yeah. Next time we go to the con. Yeah. Because uh, the voiceover artist, we were at Wales Comic Con last week. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that at the end as well. Um, but uh, there were some voice artists from Overwatch there. And the voice artist for Widowmaker was one of those people. Uh, t-shirt. Yeah, it's a t-shirt. Who's on it? And it is... Right, look at it properly. Looks like... Yeah, I would say that's Street Fighter. Fighter. It's definitely... Yeah. From yeah. yeah. So, let's have a look at that, as you can see there. It's a very unique design. Um... Possibly we can with the fire there, um, but I'm sure the magazine will be able to look at that, that will give us some detail. But that is a very nice t-shirt, I'm very happy with that one. What we've got next? Finally one? we've got a book. A book? A book. The book? The book. The book. Okay. So the book. You, what, so it's Battle, battle is the theme. Obviously. Uh, battle Star Galactica, yes, yeah, in the yeah. title. So, what do we have in there? So we've got... Um, some stuff about um, Infinity War there, mm -hmm. and um, just what well, everything which is going to be featured yep. on the side. It's big. We've got the coins which has been in the past. Yeah, collect those coins. We've got all of those coins actually, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Which things? Yeah, and. Street Fighter Five, which um, which was in the team battle mode. Cool. What else we got? Cool. 
I mean, we, won't, we won't show all the pages in the book, obviously. Mm. That's the whole point of getting the Z-Box so you can see it for yourself. Um, more stuff about Street Fighter. More stuff about Street Fighter. Battlestar Galactica. Uh, reboot on the way. Interesting. I never. I watched the original Battlestar Galactica back in the eighties. Um, never seen an episode of the rebooted series that came out. Um, not because I didn't think it'd be good or I had any interest. Uh, no interest in watching it. It's just something I never got around to. Um, there's a number of series like that. I've never got around to watching The Sopranos, Breaking Bad, um, some shows like that. And again, it's not that I doubt the quality of the shows, just so little time to watch everything. Although with uh, Breaking Bad and Sopranos and the reboot of Battlestar Galactica having finished now, at least I know there's a finite amount that needs to be watched, so if the TV shows and such like that I am watching now come to an end, then obviously I'll eventually maybe get around to them. Um, Welcome to the VIP club. Okay, yeah. So that's an interesting thing. Um, that's because I'm a valued Z-Box subscriber. Well, we're a valued Z-Box subscriber, yes. aren't we? So we've unlocked access to the VIP club. Right. What else we got? We have got... In the book. What's, What's in, in the, the box? box? So, yeah. It is Ryu. Yeah, Ryu. it does mention there, doesn't it? I mean, we thought it would be Ryu. Ryu. Uh, or Ryu. He's, Ryu. He is yeah. the... He is the main street... He would, you would say he is Street Fighter. Um, the wall and the coins. Coins, they just pop. Carry on, good. It's a page talking about this coin. It says what's on the front side and the back side, how big it is. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it says Who wins, you decide? Thanos or Battlestar Galactica Warship? <laughs> Might have been to see that. Thanos, so. obviously. There's a little graph and saying yep. purpleness. Well, Thanos is purple. <laughs> top heroes of Overwatch. Mm. Are there top heroes? Or, um, mm. This is probably, this is obviously made before Infinity War, so. Yeah, it's just a little well, thing, isn't it? Just mentioning, yeah, just mentioning. Um, what they think about Infinity War. Um, yeah. Um, just, oh, just just while we're talking about Infinity War, we did go and see it yesterday. Yeah. Uh, no spoilers in this video, just in case obviously that's what you're concerned about. Um, it is a fantastic movie. What I will say is that you need to go into it knowing that it is part one of two. That is something you do need to know. Um, there's been a lot of grumbling online about people complaining that it's a setup for another film. But when it was initially announced, it was Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2. They simply decided to use Infinity War just as the, the title for the first one. They haven't titled the next part just because it will give so much away they've said about what happened in the movie we saw yesterday. However, it is a fantastic film. Uh, action from beginning to end no let up and we can't wait we we left the cinema open mouthed yeah and yes. shocked and so what's uh so yeah go and see infinity war so next week actually i believe well it won't be next week because you're not here no but i mean you'll it will be given to us mm -hmm. and it is detectives okay detectives so that could be sherlock holmes very famous detective, mm -hmm. Batman, the world's greatest detective. The interestingly, if you can show the little image to the camera there again, that there is Birch Street and Higgins Street. That is Jessica Jones. Um, so I'm assuming something Jessica Jonesy will be in there. Can you think of any other great detectives? No. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of the cartoon, but it was the Great Mouse Detective, wasn't it? Um, Mm. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see great detectives because obviously Sherlock Holmes, Batman, they're, they're, your, they're your greatest detectives. Yeah. Um, could be in any number though because there's loads of detectives in comics, uh, yeah. in cinema, in video games. So it could be a lot of different things, but that's what we've got today. A nice little haul, yeah? 
Mm -hmm. um, as always, t-shirt, there's a t-shirt in every box. Coins, it used to be pins, pins was the big thing for a while. Yeah. Pin it used to be pins in every one. Uh, but now it's coins and I'm, I, I like the coins. I like the look of the coins, I like the feel of the coins. Um, they come in silver and gold. And which one did we get the gold? It was the Back to the Future one. Yeah. Uh, we got the Back to the Future one here. That was the gold edition because um, they come in silver and gold. They're both limited edition, but the silver ones, I think they're like five thousand pieces. The gold ones are only a thousand, or maybe even five hundred. So that's a good thing to have. But yeah, so we've got the Pop Widowmaker or Widowmaker Pop, the book obviously. This absolutely stunning T-shirt. I love it. I really like t-shirts where the designs are minimalist in relation to what the the show or anything is. It's not blatantly just the title. Um, so this t-shirt is perfect for that. We've got the coin and the Battlestar Galactica coin and the what? Thor Ragnarok. 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 Thor Ragnarok. Uh, you enjoyed that film as well, yeah. didn't you? Um, so, yeah, that, that's the haul here from the Z-Box number 11. Thank you very much for watching this part. And what will happen is there will be a jazzy edit of some kind in about 12, 13 seconds. And we will be talking about Wales Comic Con. Last weekend was Wales Comic Con, uh, 10th anniversary part 1, um, because those who have been following the channel or Wales Comic Con know that they do two events every year, April and December. So part 1 is in the books and part 2 will be uh, it's actually the 1st and the 2nd of December, so it's very early in the month this time. And we had a good time, didn't we? Yeah. We only went on the Saturday this time. Uh, normally we go both days, um, but we knew that it was going to be heaving. So we went on the Saturday. And we got to meet almost everyone we wanted to meet, yeah. didn't we? Um, there were some big name cancellations through No Fault of Their Own for the most part. Val Kilmer was supposed to be there. If you've been following the channel, you would have seen that we would have posted uh, various times who are top. Or yeah. Guess we were most looking forward to seeing. Val Kilmer was the main headliner, but um, there was issues. Uh, if you're not aware, Val Kilmer's got some serious health issues at the moment and needs specific medication. But the shipping medication he has, there needs to be certain permits and things granted for him to come into the UK with them. Those were not granted in time, so there was no way he could turn up. Which is understandable, even though some people were giving him some stick about it. Uh, Sean Austin had to pull out. Again, that was health issues. He was suffering from yeah. pneumonia and he wasn't allowed to travel. He again issued, he issued a video uh, apologising for it, so he's hoping to be there in December. Uh, that was a big loss. Uh, a few others cancelled and one of the more disappointing ones to cancel was Rey Mysterio. And the reason it was disappointing, obviously all cancellations are disappointing. Yeah? Yeah. 
and work commitments come up. Uh, some people forget that these are still people with jobs and careers. Uh, some of them are retired, obviously, um, but for a lot of the time there are jobs and careers. And with the actors, a role may come up, reshoots may come up, contractual obligations may come up, and they have to pull out because they have to go and do some work. And that's fine. There is no issue with that at all. It's disappointing, but work, con convention, appearance, it, work takes precedent every time. However, Rey Mysterio cancelled, and the reason given for his cancellation was that he had to have surgery. Yeah? Yeah. So he cancelled for that reason, and at that at face value, that's right. You know, he has to have surgery, um, you get booked in for surgery, sometimes you can't, you don't get to pick and choose a lot of time, it's when your surgeon, especially if you have a specialist surgeon, it's when he or she is available to do the operation, do the surgery. So, in that case, we were like, yeah, no, that's fine, it's very disappointing, yeah. but it's understandable. However, he didn't have surgery. He was appearing at the Great Royal Rumble event in Saudi Arabia. Now, again, had it been said that uh, I can't turn up because I've got this, I've been asked to appear at this event in Saudi, it's a huge event, it's a big deal, for a number of different reasons, that would have, again, it would have been disappointing he's not there, but that would have been fine. We would have understood that he's going to attend a big special one-off, well, it's going to be once, they're hoping it's a ten, over ten years they've got a deal thing going, but it's a once a year, but this is the first ever, it's a big deal. And he was invited to participate. Now, if he was having surgery, he would not have been able to do so because he would have had to have the surgery. And then there would have to have been some downtime for him after the surgery to obviously recover from whatever was done, even if it was a minor surgery. Um, so, essentially, he or his representatives lied to the organisers of Wales Comic Con. And it's just left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. Uh, because, and from a convention organiser's point of view, why would you, if you ask this person to go again, and they cancel again, you're not going to believe the reason they're given for cancelling, whether it's genuine or not, because you've been bitten once. So that was the main downside of the convention, yeah. wasn't it? But, moving on from that, more upbeat aspect of the convention, was we went dressed up again, didn't yeah. we? Uh, we went as... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., well, Argus of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, because yeah. we did it from the Amalgam Universe. Uh, there'll be some images popping up here and there about it. Um, we had a lot of fun with that, didn't we? Yeah. We were running our business card, we were recruiting for the special team we were putting together. Um, we met some old friends, didn't we? Uh, Thomas. Shout out to Thomas, a.k.a. Thor, a.k.a. Johnny Bravo. Um, aka a number of others but that's who he was this weekend and he he's an awesome guy so if you ever meet him at the con say hello he's a fantastic fella uh, there's also a fantastic video from Lucy Maya uh, you may also know as Torathena who if you haven't seen her channel check her channel out uh, she's a lot of fun she's very funny to listen to and the video she did is just it's very very funny so check her out uh, featured a number of Comic Con cosplayers, just a little narrative story, and it's just a piece of fluff, but it's fantastic fluff all the same. Um, so, we met a load of people as well, didn't we? So, who did you, who was your favourite guest that you met? Um, probably out of what I met, probably Christian. Christian, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, XWB wrestler, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you met DDP, mm -hmm. as did I. Uh, so, you had a nice little chat with him, didn't you? Uh, who else did you speak to? Matt Ryan, who's Matt Ryan, Constantine. who's always awesome. Uh, plays Constantine uh, in the TV show Constantine, but also now in the Arrowverse in general. Um, this is the third time we've went and spoke to him. Yeah. Um, and he's an awesome fella. Uh, he really is an awesome guy. Uh, it, he... He remembers people. He, he remembers when he's spoken to them, which is a big deal. Especially when it's a convention setting and you meet so many people. Um, and we had a good little chat with him. Uh, yeah. Made your mum's day, didn't he? Uh, giving her a big hug and stuff. So that was fun. We I spoke to DDP about the DDP yoga, because I've been doing that. Um, 
it's going, I've got a long way to go, but I've came a long way, I've lost about 45, 50 pounds since I started it, which is a lot of weight, um, but it's more the flexibility and how you're feeling with it as well, even simple things like putting on a pair of socks without having to contort yourself to get them on is a big deal. Um, you've seen a difference, haven't you? Because I, I can I walk and I don't have to stop when I'm walking now. Uh, I used to have to stop every 150 yards or so, pain in the back, I had to take a rest. That's gone. So that's a big deal. Uh, you saw the Overwatch people again, didn't you? There was yeah. some of them around. And it was just a good day by all. We uh, Rick Cosnett was there. He plays a number of things, but obviously the most well-known as Eddie Thorne in the first series of The Flash. We met some Buffy people. Uh, Anthony Head was there. Um, we got to hear him sing a small snippet of Sweet Run Best Out on stage, which was awesome. We saw Glory from Buffy, who is a big crush of mine, so that, I was kind of gobsmacked and speechless. Uh, we saw Julia Landau. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Glory Claire Kramer. Jo um, Julia Landau plays Drusilla. She was sweet. She's ever so tiny. She's really tiny. Um, we saw some Gotham people. Yeah. Uh, Sean Pertwee was there again. We spoke with David Mazouz. And I apologise if I'm mispronouncing that name. Who plays Bruce Wayne? Yeah. And you had a nice chat with him, didn't you? Because obviously yeah. we were talking about how yeah, yeah. when he started, he wasn't much older than. Uh, J-Rock, Josh is what, 11? No, yes, well, I know you're 11, you're not what, 11. Yeah. Um, and he had, uh, David Mazous had his audition for Bruce Wayne at 12 and started filming the show when he was 13. So there's not much of an age gap mm -hmm. there. Um, so that impressed you and made quite an impression on you because obviously you've shown that even at a young age, if that's the direction you want to go in, you just go for it. And he was lovely, wasn't he? He was a lovely yeah, guy to right. talk to. Um, Aaron Richards was there, plays Barbara Keane in Gotham, another one who's tiny but is absolutely beautiful in person. Um, yeah, there was loads of people. George Wendt was there from Cheers. Um, he he seemed jet lagged because he didn't seem to be too too with it when he was there. Uh, there were a few other people there. Oh yeah, we met Hayley Atwell, who was a very last minute addition to the con. She was announced on the Thursday before the con took place. So she was a very last minute addition. But she was sweet, wasn't she? Um, what people don't realise is she actually has anxiety issues when it comes to large gatherings of people. So for her to attend the convention was a really, really special thing. And with us being agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., we went up to her, didn't we? Yeah. And we spoke to her. And she, she loved your costume, didn't she? Well, she loved yeah. our costumes, but obviously he, he's a cute kid. So his gets a little bit more love than mine. And, yeah, it was a yeah. fantastic time. So if you if you can get to Wrexham, it's quite centralised, so it's very uh, you can get to it pretty much from anywhere in the UK and abroad. With this one, there was actually people who'd flown in from the US, from Holland, from Germany, from Spain. Uh, so... The, the reach is getting further and further. Um, it's not the biggest convention in the UK, but I would argue it is the best um, for atmosphere, quality of guests, if you combine it all. Um, if you get to it in December, please do so. You'll have a fantastic time. Uh, one of the things that we find with a lot is people will say, oh, I don't have anyone to go with. Because you may be the only geek in your circle of friends who is this geeky about things and devoted or passionate about geek culture just go yourself there's plenty of people um who go on their own i've went on my own you obviously haven't because you're yeah. not old enough um but there's plenty of people who go on their own you will make friends in the queue when you're waiting to go in you will make friends in q and a's you will make friends just walking around go up to people if you like their costumes go up and speak to them say that you like their costumes get some pictures with them you may see someone who's not in cosplay, but like me just now, you've got a Jumanji t-shirt on. Um, you see someone who's got a t-shirt of something you like, just go and speak to them. You will make friends. I've made so many friends at conventions. You've made friends at conventions. And Wales Comic Con is one of the best going. So, thank you to all the organisers of Wales Comic Con. 
which includes Jamie and Shane. They've worked tireless, tirelessly. Um, for I always say they work thanklessly because people thank them all the time for putting this on. But I think it's something people forget how much work goes into putting this thing together, especially with such big name cancellations and trying to get such big name replacements. So thank you very much to those, all the organisers, all the volunteers for making it go as smoothly as they can. There's always going to be hitches with this. Thank you to all the cosplayers, thank you to all my friends, thank you to all his friends, um, thank you to all the guests who make us feel special, even if it's that 5-10 minute when we're talking to them. So, in summing up, how cool is Wales Comic Con? It is amazing. How many thumbs up kills? Cool if I had the amount, five. So we'll just have to settle with two thumbs up cool. Four. Oh, four. Four thumbs, thumbs up cool. Up. Ooh, thumbception. So, again, thank you very much for watching the video. Listen us blab away as we do. Please support all the Comic Cons you can. Obviously, money can be an issue. But yeah, attend the Comic Con. Enjoy yourself. Cosplay if you want to cosplay. Don't worry about whether it's like unbelievably accurate. You go with what you feel comfortable. No one will judge you. Apart from obviously when you get into the Comic Con cosplay market masquerades, because that's all about the judging. But in general, no one will judge you. Just have fun. And attend Wales Comic Con in December 2018. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Henry H. Bond Higgins. I've been Josh J. Lock Higgins. I don't know why we're whispering. Goodbye. Goodbye.